What's up? Nah, man. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Just hanging out. Just chilling. Um, I was getting ready to go drink some beer for, you know, beer buddies. I gotta think I'm gonna do something local this time again. Because, you know, doing a while since I've done an episode. And I figure, you know, local beers will start with Monday night because they're one of my favorites. I'll drink, uh, I don't know, one I really like and something new from them. I just don't know. What? Dude, I know it's Thursday. I, yeah, I know it's Thursday. What does that have to do with anything? Look, just because they're called Monday Night Brewing doesn't mean you have to uh, drink them on Mondays. That's, that doesn't even make sense. That's the silliest thing I think I've ever heard you say in my entire life. Yeah, you can buy them on Thursdays. I don't even get why this is the thing that you're talking about. All right, well, I got to go get some beer and, and, and shoot uh, some shit. So I'll talk to you later. All right. Peace. Oh, it's a Monday beer. No. Very strange. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> I don't even understand. Hey there, everybody. Jones here, bringing you back to 2018's first edition of Beer with Buddies. I, uh, kicking it old school and going back to the kitchen table tonight. Uh, and I've decided that this year we're going to kind of focus on, at least for a little bit, focus on companies as opposed to just random ass beers. So today, what I'm doing is I'm just keeping it local because everybody loves that local. Uh, we are drinking some beers from Monday Night Brewing this episode. Now, I uh, decided this time we're going to try a favorite which is Dust Bunny Hazy IPA. Now this is a really good beer I discovered over the holidays. I thought it was just a seasonal, but I guess it's probably just a regular now at this point. It's a 6.8% 6 6 alcohol. It's a really cool uh, IPA. I really, really, really enjoy it. I'll go ahead and pour this in a glass real quick. I'm reason to tear up my glass for this one because I don't know what my glasses are, but... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Bam! Ah, good enough. As you can see, it is very hazy in color. This is more of an unfiltered beer. A lot of beer companies are doing that nowadays. And also, we are trying them one of their newest beers, which is called Whirling Dervish. This is a coffee stout. Apparently, it uses coffee from Baddorf Bronson Coffee Roasters. That's a mouthful. But uh, it's a coffee stout. It is 4.9 alcohol percentage. That ain't bad. It's, it's pretty basic. But let's go ahead and pour that bad boy in this big ass glass. There we go. Oh, yes. That's definitely a stout. Stouting stout stout here. Oh, yeah. Now, in my opinion, uh, when it's cold, I drink a lot more porters and stouts. I don't know. Heavier beers are good for colder colder days. I think, you know, IPAs are good all around because they're my favorite. But uh, that's just kind of how I roll. So, like I said, this is this has become my new favorite thing. So much that I tweeted about it. <laughs> and Monday Night actually tweeted me back about it, which was pretty damn cool. In my opinion, I kind of feel a little famous for that. So, what better way to start off the year beer everybody's than by doing stuff like that? Because... They're pretty awesome. Um, they just switched all their their stuff to cans. I guess they're not doing bottles as much, unless it's like a specialty beer or something. But that's a that's a common trend I've noticed nowadays with a lot of breweries, uh, especially independent breweries. They'll they'll switch their their ideas to cans a lot more than than, than most. A lot, a lot of the times nowadays, when I go to pick up beer, I'll see a lot in cans. So that's cool. Um, these are cold. I guess it produces a better taste, and you know, there's no light exposing itself to bottles to give it that skunky goodness. Not goodness, skunky badness that uh, you can get from light exposure. So that's probably the reason they do it. They keep more, they keep better, you know, they're better maintained. So that's probably why they do that. So let's go ahead and dig in. Like I said, I've already enjoyed Dust Bunny a lot over the holidays, so that's why I figured I'd start with it. As my cat meows at the door. Um, really good. Not sure exactly what the taste is, but it's kind of a base level IPA. It's not like really fruity or juicy. It's just it's a good all around IPA. 
and then there's that. So that's a really good one. If you if you've never tried it, definitely highly recommend. It's in the high end of my list. I probably rated it a five or close to it, and this cat just ruined this video. Give me one second. You fucking suck, cat. Yeah. Cut that bit up. Three, two, one. As I said, you know, I, I'm recommending it a lot. Like I said, it's cool looking. It's a really tasty. We're going with some base level IPA, then I'd recommend that one, especially if you've never had it before. And now for our new sample, the Whirling Dervish. What a, what a funny name. So this should be interesting. I'm not a big coffee style guy, although I've been getting into coffee, so maybe it'll be a little bit more pleasing to me. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much tastes like coffee, straight up like coffee. And it's kind of laid back. It's not an overly alcoholy. You know, like the higher the percentage, the more it tastes like alcohol or more alcohol content. So it's. Definitely got that roast coffee taste, like standard black coffee. That's not bad. I mean, it's stout. It's, you know. I've been drinking a lot of coffee, so I kind of kind of got a taste for it a little bit more. But I know a lot of uh, companies are doing coffee stouts with certain coffee companies partnered with them. That's pretty good. That's not bad. I mean, as far as coffee stouts go, it's coffee stout. I mean, I wouldn't say it's terrible. And I'd probably get it every once in a while. It's not my favorite kind of stout. I'm more of a milk stout kind of guy. But that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. Actually, I give uh, kudos to Wayne for trying something a little different. I've had a few coffee stouts here and there. never had any on the show. So I've never really been able to kind of offer a recommendation on that. But if you like stouts, a little bit. If you like coffee, definitely should do it. This, however, is probably my favorite beer from them right now. Um, definitely get your hands on some of that. Then they're available you know, anywhere you can find local beers. So... That's pretty much it, man. It's simple. Straight to the point. Beer Buddies is back. I'll be back next week with another episode. If you want to look into all the beers I've tried, you can look me up on Untapped at CrazyJones681. I do believe that's my name as well as the YouTube channel and everything. So uh, check out what I've tried, what I've rated. Uh, we had a, I had a bunch of friends I was hanging out with a couple weeks ago. We were trying a bunch of bourbon barrel stouts. That was a good old time. It was, I should have brought my camera and recorded it because it would have been a lot of fun, but... Maybe we'll get down to down the road. We'll try to have somebody on, hopefully, within the next couple weeks of episodes. But we're getting back to a schedule of doing this on a weekly basis. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time on Beer Buddies. i got to drink these two beers and uh, feel pretty good about that. So until next time, keep drinking, folks.